Looking back at episode two, we started off with uh, some Zor ball tackling on Ellis Park, which was really awesome. So we split the girls into two teams. The one team was called Peaches, the other team was called Lee's Angels, which was quite funny. Um, so Lee's Angels ended up winning, and what happened is the winning team got to spend some alone time with me at the resort and spa. And we had some champagne, and we just relaxed and swam a bit and got to know each other. The standout moments for the Zorball tackling was definitely the big hits. Um, some girls really put up their hands and really dominated that, that game and um, it was really fun to watch. It was also really cool to get to see my coach who stood next to me and helped me judge and helped me ref the game, which was quite fun. I decided to take Kelly on a one-on-one -on -one date to Cape Town. We started off with a Cobra ride around Cape Town. I live in Cape Town, so I thought I'd show around a few of my favorite spots in Cape Town. After that, we had a little ice cream on the bench watching the ocean, um, watching the sunset as well. And I took her on a sunset yacht cruise. We had a few cocktails, we got to know each other, we ate delicious food, and it was just a picture-perfect moment. We even had a Titanic moment, which was quite interesting, and I loved that. The standout moments from episode two, I found it really tough at the rose ceremony. It was a really difficult decision for me to let three ladies go. Um, probably the toughest decision yet. They're all magnificent, so to try and choose three to let go, was probably the hardest part, but I'm confident that I made the right decision and I left with a great bunch of ladies.